Native to the land of Morrowind, the Ashlandes, as they're commonly known, are the nomadic tribal Dunmer of Ardenfell, living in their camps away from civilization and the House Dunmer. On Vardenfell, these tribes are divided into four main camps. The Urshalaku, the Zanabi, the Arabian Insum, and the Ahomusu, each of which have their own customs and culture. Outside of the main camps, a couple dozen smaller Ashlander camps can be found across the island, owned by outcasts and small tribes. And uh, the aim of today's Mall of the Day is to provide each of them with a simple, vanilla friendly cosmetic overhaul, giving them just a little bit more detail than they had before. For today's Mall of the Day is Native Lands by Tell Shadow. A very light detail and clutter overhaul for the Ash Thunder Camps, Native Lands gives each of the major Ash Thunder Camps a distinct look fitting for the culture and customs of that particular camp. The Ahomusu are herders, and so have their herd roped off nearby. The Arabian Insum are more warlike, and you'll see more of their trophies when you visit their camp. The Zanabi are traders, so you'll see more carts and trade goods. And the Urshalaku are spiritual, with a more mystical looking set of decor. Keeping largely to the vanilla layout of each of the major Ashlander camps, Native Lands adds uh, quite a few new immersive and atmospheric details. Ashlander banners and lights, palisades offer some modicum of protection against the surrounding wilderness. Bug shells, tanning racks, talismans, the tools of the trade for a nomadic lifestyle out in the wasteland tomorrow wind. Uh, again, again, uh, this isn't some dramatic, massive expansion of the Ashlander camps. It's, uh, it's more subtle than that, you know, but uh, still rather transformative, using only vanilla assets to flesh out each of these locations and give them a renewed sense of life. And uh, while it isn't, you know, as extensive as other mods in this category, like, say, the Ashlanders by Duodun Miko, it, it is still quite scenic, adding a simple beauty that still enhances the game world of Morrowind. Uh, now, it is worth noting that uh, this will conflict with the Ashlanders, uh, which is rather unfortunate since, you know, that is an incredibly atmospheric mod in its own right. But uh, these two mods do, you know, do fairly similar things. So native lands might be better considered as a potential alternative to the Ashlanders. Uh, notably though, it is still compatible with Markon's finding the Arabian Insum Ashlander camp. And indeed, I, I am using that right here. But uh, anyway, as mentioned before, Native Lands also just very lightly overhauls the other minor Ashlander camps around Morrowind. Uh, this largely consists of adding things like uh, fire pits, bug shells, stools, and assorted containers to the exteriors of their yurts. You know, minor clutter that was missing from these locations in the vanilla game. And uh, real quick, you can see a comparison of some of these environments with and without native lands and soil. Uh, that's, uh, that's just about all there is to see here. A again, this is a fairly lightweight overhaul, but it is a scenic one. So that's just our mod of the day. Uh, as always, I've been your host, Rick Elfkai. Uh, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, happy modding, and I'll just uh, see you all next time.